Our geography teacher talked about the South China Sea at school today. Why is there such a big fuss? Well, it's about some islands and reefs. It's a long story. Why so long? Because the story began some two thousand years ago. That's when the Chinese started to sail in the South China Sea and were the first to discover those tiny islands and give them names that have been used till today. What did they go there for? Uh, for fishing, mainly. Conches, sea cucumbers, shrimps, giant clams. Ooh, cool! And it wasn't exactly easy to sail back in those days. They only had small boats. It took them days to get there from Hainan. Hmm. Wouldn't they get lost? Oh, they had compasses, didn't they? And maps, many maps, which they kept updating. During the Yuan Dynasty, the emperor started sending the navy to patrol the South China Sea. Oh, I never realized they could handle ships as well as horses. Then, about 600 years ago, came the great Chinese admiral Zheng He. He led an armada and made seven voyages to Southeast Asia, the Middle East, and Africa. Some say his adventures are the inspiration for Sinbad in the tales of the Arabian Nights. Sinbad? I love Sinbad. So, what did Admiral Zheng He do exactly? Well, he got rid of pirates in the area, and his great treasure ships were filled with valuable cargoes from China, like tea, porcelain, and silks. Can you guess what these were exchanged for? I'm not sure. Fabulous spices, rare gems, and China's first giraffe. Wow, cool! I love giraffes. But Grandpa, all this was a long time ago. Why the big fuss over the South China Sea now? It's quite complicated. You see, the French took away nine islands in the 1930s. Then came the Japanese, who seized even more. China got them back after the Second World War, and they were recognized as China's on maps. But then, huge oil reserves were discovered there in the late 1960s, and other countries decided maybe they didn't want China to have those islands back after all. I see. So, what happens now? Well, I think those countries should really look at the history. Then they'll see that China was the first to settle there, the first to trade there. And the first to make the area secure. Shall I tell my geography teacher that? Oh, by all means.